Hey guys, welcome to Let's Go Catch Some Snaps. And uh, today we're going to be installing this uh, hatch cover here for the uh, for the fuel tank. And uh, before I get into that, I just want to talk to you about a couple of things here that are very important, guys. And number one is, uh, you know, when you look at the hatch, you see that it has these little grooves that go in there, so the bolts or that you're going to use are these that have like a little cone shape and what that does is when you put it in there it doesn't stick out see on the top it's flat so you want to use that those type of screws if if it doesn't have that you could use a flathead a screw on there and it'll be just fine all right so the point of this uh video is to talk to you about the different types of silicone. Now remember the other day I told you that I have bought the 5200 right here. This is a permanent. A permanent and be careful when you use these guys because whatever you apply it on it's going to be extremely hard to take off and uh, most of the time you'll end up tearing something apart. So since this deck plate is something that I'm going to be taking off and on whenever I need to play, replace the, uh, the hoses for the fuel tank, for the vent, and for the filler uh, neck, um, I'm going to have to take this out whenever you know I, I inspect and replace the hoses. So what I need is not a permanent sealant. I need a... A, a sealant that you could take off and on. So make sure that when you buy your um, marine adhesive, make sure it doesn't say permanent on it because if it does, more than likely, guys, you're going to have issues taking it off. Secondly, make sure you know the color because I, I myself have gone in a rush to one of these uh, marinas or you know, the Home Depot, whatever may have you, and have run in and just grabbed a silicone, and then I found out it's either clear or it's black and it's not white, so it doesn't match. So when you go out there, just make sure that you have the right product that you're going to need for your boat. All right, let's get to installing this thing. Okay, the first thing you want to do, guys you want to get a bead around whatever you're going to put in here so you got to put a bead around this cover here as you can see of the silicone and then all I'm going to do is I'm just going to put it right in that hole just like that all right and just uh, find where it goes and just put it there for a little bit until I'm able to install the screws to find out where the actual first bolt is and then I'm just going to screw it down just like that. And then put all the other ones in and we're good to go. Once you get the bolts and everything in here, in there, Make sure, because see how some of the silicone comes out on the edges? And that's because it's sealing properly. So we get a wet rag, just like this one, and just run it over it. Nothing on this floor, just kind of run it on the sides and remove that extra silicone from it. Okay. Just like that. Okay. Around it. And voila, there it goes. If you like this, like, share, and subscribe. Let's go catch some snaps.